Hello friends, this video on coordinate geometry part 2 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1. The first thing we will study is distance formula. Distance formula, that is, if you want to find distance between two points, that is P and Q, where for P we denote using X1 and Y1 because this is nothing but x and y points abscan ordinate for p and x2 and y2 is nothing but the points for q axis q point that is x and y coordinate then the distance is nothing but root over x2 minus x1 square plus y2 minus y1 square please note this is very 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 crucial formula i'll repeat once again distance between two point p and q where p is x1 y1 and q is x2 y2 is nothing but root over x2 minus x1 square plus y2 minus y1 square. We will use this formula to find distance between two points. For example, when I told you want to find distance between Russia or Germany or uh, some place in US with some place in Africa or Bangalore and uh, let's suppose um, some place in Switzerland, you can use this formula. So now I will derive this formula first. So it may be a little boring to you but bear with me. I will derive this formula and then we will use this formula in our day to day life. Derivation is very simple actually in this case. So if these are two points P and Q, two points you want to find distance, you join PQ and draw a right triangle. This is a right triangle. Correct. And now we can just use Pythagoras theorem to find PQ. Why? Because we know PT and QT. By construction if you see this is X1, Y1. Correct. And this is let's suppose uh, x2, y x2 because this point is x2. So any point in this line will be x2. But this point is nothing but I was talking about, I'll tell you. x2 is what? Perpendicular relation from y axis. So if you are drawing a parallel line from here, so you take any point in this line, the perpendicular distance from y axis remains same. So going by that definition also, it is always x2 or this x2 this has to be x2 correct so also i told instead of that you can just say take the image of this point in the x axis so this is x2 this is x2 this is also x2 because if you try to draw a line from here to this x axis will become x2 similarly y coordinate how to get y will be y1 i'll tell you why y is nothing but perpendicular distance from x axis so if you draw perpendicular distance uh, if you distance between ts and pr is same correct so if you see if pr distance between pr is y1 the distance between ts is also y1 since it is y1 this is y1 got logic clear also going by our simpler shortcut also if you see what i told for p just draw an image in this this becomes y1. Since it is y1, it is also y1, right? Since it is y axis. Also, for t also, if you just draw an image in this y axis, you will get y1 only. So, this is also y1. That is pretty much clear to us. Now, if you want to find the distance between this, that is pt. So, this is x1 actually, correct? And this is y2. I am just drawing this point in the x y coordinates. Now you want to find the distance between R S now. What is the distance between R S or P T? It will be x2 minus x1. Correct. The distance between R S since they are in the same line will be x2 minus x1 and P T will also be same because they are same. So we can say that first thing is P T is nothing but x2 minus x1. That is my equation number one. Similarly, let's find QT. QT is nothing but the distance between this and this. The distance between this and this. This point is nothing but Y2 minus Y1. Correct. So that is nothing but Y2 minus Y1. That is my equation number 2. So what I have done? I have found the distance between PT that is equal to RS and that is nothing but X2 minus X1. I also I found a distance between QT that is equal to these two points that is y2 minus y1. Now I 
I know this is the right triangle and I can very well apply the Pythagoras theorem. This is the hypotenuse. These are the other two sides. So hypotenuse square PQ square or PQ is nothing but root over square of other two sides that is square of PT square plus QT square. This formula we know and this is nothing but root over x2 minus x1 square plus y2 minus y1 square. Correct. This is the formula we get and this is what we were talking about. So this is the distance between two points P and Q where P is x1 y1 and Q is x2 y2. Very very crucial formula. Derivation was very simple. You have this point PQ, draw a line and then you draw a right triangle in this, find the distance of this, find the distance of this and then you can find the distance of this. Very simple. Let's take some examples to clear our concept. You have to find distance between 2, 3 and 4, 1. So let's solve this question. Here x1, y1 is nothing but 2, 3. And x2, y2 is nothing but 4, 1. Correct? Now let's find a distance. If you see distance is nothing but root over x2 minus x1 square plus y2 minus y1 square and this is nothing but root over what is the value of x2 minus x1 4 minus 2 square plus y2 minus y1 1 minus 3 square 1 minus 3 square and this is nothing but 4 minus 2 is 2 2 square plus 1 minus 3 is minus 2 minus 2 this is nothing but 2 square is 4 and minus 2 square is also 4 that is root of 4 plus 4 that is root of 8 and that is 2 root 2 so distance between these two points is 2 root 2 very simple very simple application of the formula straightforward application of the formula and got the answer let's take one more point minus 5 7 and minus 1 minus 3 so let's solve this way x1 y1 is minus 5 and 7 and x2 comma y2 is minus 1 and 3 correct so again let's apply the same formula d is nothing but root over x2 minus x1 square plus y2 minus y1 square Correct and this is nothing but root over what value x2 x2 is minus 1 minus 1 minus x1 is minus 5 minus minus 5 this whole square plus y2 minus y1 y2 is 3 y1 is 7 square this is nothing but minus 1 plus 5 square plus 3 minus 7 square this is nothing but 5 minus 1 that is 4 square plus 3 minus 7 that is minus 4 square correct 4 square is equal to 16 minus 4 square is also 16 that is root over 32 and that is nothing but 4 root 2 so distance between these two points is 4 root 2. Very simple. Just use the formula x2 minus x1 square plus y2 minus y1 square root. And we have got the answer. Let's take one more example, last one. Let's draw space for this first. Here x1, y1 is ab. And x2 comma y2 is nothing but minus a minus b let's find the distance so distance is nothing but root over x2 minus x1 square plus y2 minus y1 square correct this is nothing but minus a minus a square plus minus b minus b square 
that is root over minus 2a whole square plus minus 2b whole square that is 4a square plus 4b square root that is 2a common will get 2 root a square plus b square. Why this became 2? Because it was root 4 inside, root 4 is 2, so we 2, 2 common. And that is my answer. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.